From the heart of Philly, this is CBS News Philadelphia. Now at 11, a joyful celebration turns to chaos and panic in West Philadelphia. Dozens of shots are fired during an event to mark the end of Ramadan. We know two factions were started shooting at each other. Hundreds of parents and children run in search of safety as this annual gathering is marred by gun violence. The community is left shaken. Put the guns down. Please stop shooting at random stuff that has nothing to do with the people that we don't have nothing to do with it. We're just civilians. Please put the guns down. It's a message from the people we are hearing all too often. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. Here is the very latest on the shooting at today's Eid al Fitr event in West Philadelphia. It happened around 2.30 this afternoon in the area of 47th and Wyalusing Avenue. About a thousand people were gathered near Galar Mohammed Square and the Philadelphia Masjid Mosque. Police say that two groups started shooting. Three people were shot, including a 15-year-old suspect who police say was shot by an officer. Tonight, five people are in police custody. The FBI and ATF are assisting Philadelphia police. Right now, officials say the shooting appears to have stemmed from a fight and was not a targeted attack on the celebration. Our coverage tonight begins with CBS Philadelphia's Carrie Corrado. Witnesses tell me they were praying for peace and unity when all of this happened. They said they heard the shooting and started to run. They say they are scared, frustrated, confused, sad. There were a lot of emotions on that scene. It was scary. I'm still shaking. Like, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. Trash, chairs, a stroller, baby dolls, and coolers. Just some of the items that were left behind when people dropped what they were doing and ran for their lives during a shooting at 47th and Wild Loosing in West Philadelphia. You know, I was like, ah, oh, you know, just another beautiful day, and gunshots just started ringing. Uh, and you could see the gun smoke uh, because it was very close. Witnesses say as the bullets were flying around them, they tried to take cover, especially since they couldn't tell where the bullets were coming from in the first place. In the middle of it, witnesses say kids were getting separated from their parents. It was like back to back to back to back to back. I see everybody running, the kids running, the little girl ran across the street, she got hit by the car. It was, it was a lot going on. Their Crying. And, and people had to find their kids. Yes, they had to find their kids, and it was just, it was just so senseless. I thought it was firecrackers. I said, whoa. I thought it was firecrackers. But everybody's trampling on each other, falling all over the place because it was senseless. One young boy posted this message to Citizens App. Bro, like, this is scary because I almost got shot. This was just trauma to me. It just keeps happening. I don't know why. Or anything just keep happening. The park was packed with people and vendors, and people say they were celebrating the end of Ramadan until the shooting happened. We do this festival every year, you know, once a year. And what I'm saying is, we don't we don't want violence. We try to promote, we try to promote, you know, happiness. Police could be seen canvassing the area for evidence and shell casings. Many people stood on the outskirts of the massive crime scene in disbelief. And I cried because I'm saying, why? Why at this at this scene was something happen when we came for peace and unity? Why would someone want to come up here and do that? We are also told that there were grief and trauma counselors on scene to help the families and those who attended the event process everything that just happened. Outside of police headquarters, Kerry Corrado, CBS News, Philadelphia. Carrie, thanks. City and religious leaders in West Philadelphia are urging young people to put the guns down. An extremely familiar refrain. Here's Aziza Schuler. Community leaders are burdened by the gun violence in this city. They say oftentimes the guns are in the hands of the youth. And today is another indication that not even a religious celebration is safe or exempt from such tragedy. It's just pandemonium. It's just people running, running scared, uh, children and women screaming. Gunfire shattered an Eid al Fitr celebration, forcing hundreds to flee for safety in Clara Mohammed Square in West Philadelphia just before 3 p.m. Muslims citywide had converged for a day of prayer in the park, which six hours later was strewn with shell casings. It really crosses the line. A lot of the young people that commit crimes, they're used. It's always a separation. You didn't bring that to the holy places. We're in a time now where those days are done. Police Commissioner Kevin Bethel says that the shooters were primarily juveniles. Four males and one female are in custody in connection to the shooting, including a 15-year-old boy who police say was armed and confronted a police officer. Police say the officer shot the teen in the shoulder and the leg. He was taken to the hospital in stable condition. Police say another 15-year-old boy suffered a bullet wound to his finger. 
and a 22-year-old shot in the stomach is also in stable condition. You can't make excuses for all these kids. Some of them are out here actively engaging in gunfire, actively wanting to be involved in shootings. Meanwhile, imams across the city are working with the Office of Muslim Engagement, hoping to calm tensions among Philadelphia's youth. Safety is a big part of how we live our lives. Community members and leaders echo a recurring message, saying the violence won't end unless the entire city is involved. This is more of an indictment on the community, the police department, the uh, politicians. We have to do more. We have to do more for these children because these were children out here. This also showcases how imperative it is that we figure out what's going on with young people, that we do more to keep them away from guns, um, and that we help them to, you know, better manage conflict. You're killing your people, you're destroying your community, and it needs to stop. Put the guns down. In West Philadelphia, Aziza Schuler, CBS News, Philadelphia. Mayor Parker was not with police officials at the scene of the shooting this afternoon, but she condemned the violence on her social media page. Mayor Parker posted to X in the midst of Eid al fitr a holy day of celebration. Our city's Muslim community experienced a sacrilegious act of gun violence. Every community of faith has the absolute right and need to worship in peace. We stand united with the Muslim community and vow to work together to restore balance and light to our communities. Tonight we are learning more about the meaning of Eid al-Fitr. The executive director of CARE Philadelphia says the festive holiday marks the end of Ramadan and is considered one of the holiest periods of the year. Uh, similar to what um, Christmas is for Christians, um, for Muslims, um, we have another Eid, another celebration later in the year uh, of the Eid al-Fitr marking the end of the month of Ramadan is as much coveted as uh, Muslims now have fasted for uh, for such a long time, have been in prayer at their mosques, um, and the day of uh, Eid is a day of celebration. It's a day where communities come together at mosques, people invite one another to their homes. Uh, there are many different um, uh, traditions that exist in our very diverse communities. CARE Philadelphia also wants the public to know that the Muslim community has been actively involved in efforts to curb gun violence in Philadelphia. We will continue to follow the latest developments on the shooting at today's Eid al-Fitr event in West Philadelphia on air and online.